I'm Barbara Gray, and getting sober seems very clearing and freeing, but so does getting drunk. How can I do both? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Brandy Posey, and kids are such a foreign concept to me that when I see baby shoes at Goodwill, I wonder who died. And forget that kids outgrow things, you fucking ghoul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tess Barker, and the best things in life are weed. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Lady to Lady. Can you keep a secret? Neither can we. Hello! We can Barbara Brandy and of course they test. We got a show for everyone that's the fucking best. Come on, baby. It's time to hang out with your favorite ladies. Ladies and ladies, ladies and ladies. Welcome to the show, everybody. Yes. Hell yeah. Lady to lady. <laughs> we have a good house. one today. Hell yeah. Um, I'm assuming, I'm predicting in the future that it's going to be. Yeah, I think you're right. We yeah. no, we dubbed that back in after we recorded yes. the episode. <laughs> That's what we always do. Just dropped it in. <laughs> All these episodes are on a time loop continuum. Yeah. Let's make the most work for our producer on the week that she is on the podcast. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, she's the lead singer of Tiny Still. She's about to see her on tour yes. all over the place. And she's the producer of this very podcast, Kaylin West. Fuck yeah. 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 <laughs> How is it seeing our faces in person with our voices? It's fantastic. Fantastic. It's been a long time since I've seen you. I know. Yeah. I feel, feel like we're best fucking friends. She was saying, she's like, I, know I feel like I know because she has to listen to it. You know, yeah. she has to listen I to our lives every week. Do it. I was saying, I was saying to somebody recently, I was like, man, if I ever need to like, because I have a horrible memory, but we have so much recorded on this yes. podcast. Yeah. So I'm like, I guess if I ever need like to write a book, I'm just going to make some <gasps> sad, poor <laughs> person, like intern. Just listen to the podcast. Come back and listen to everything. It's true though. I just, so I just true. love the idea of like your version of the notebook is like you as like an old lady in an old folks home just listening to the podcast she's like oh god yeah oh that's no that's honestly exactly what's gonna happen you're right Ryan Gosling is gonna be playing back footage of you talking about sucking other men's dicks yeah. <laughs> exactly. Holy fuck. at that point honestly he's just gonna be like a robot man yeah, sure exactly. right? it'll be my robot husband who yeah. will just be like he won't be emotional about it he'll be a robot husband yeah and yeah. he'll be like it'll yeah. be like uh, he'll be doing the god damn it it'll be like in Star Wars oh, help me Obi-Wan Princess Kenobi Leia. Yeah, 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 he'll yeah, just yeah. be projecting yeah. it outside. Play Memory Fifty Two again. Yeah. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Help me, Jack Daniels. You're my only hope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's but a exactly. T-shirt. But like we were just saying, a lot of us, you know, uh, we, Brandon was just talking about being on our friend Lisa Curry's new podcast, uh-huh. talking about doing shameful stuff. Mm. And I, I definitely, ha- I'm embarrassed of some things, but mostly it's like, yeah, all right, yeah, I did that. Yeah. Nothing was- has stuck with me that I'm still thinking about that much. Uh, but I've definitely, in the moment, gotten myself in some doozies. For sure. Yeah. I think. Oh, I was. Oh, we're talking off, off podcast. And I've been with, actually. Uh huh. You guys, <laughs> I've, seen, I've seen, seen you at least be ashamed. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> Senior shame. <laughs> That'll happen. Yeah. So our friend Lisa Curry has been passed with some shows. She has a new podcast coming out about being it, talking about embarrassing stories and stuff. And I just did it the other day, and I realized while I was doing it that I'm like not really embarrassed of anything. Yeah. yeah. Because anytime mm-hmm. I've like felt shameful about something, I've like chosen to weaponize it to make myself better or to like learn something from it. So then it's just a, it's a positive feeling in my head. I now. like that you say weaponize. Though. Yeah. So can I get a, can I get a concrete <laughs> example of weaponry, please? Yeah. Um, uh, la, 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 let me uh, try to. What the hell was I just talking about yesterday? See, the, also the problem is I have aphantasia, so I don't relive memories. Oh right. That's so, why right, you don't right. remember your because That's like yeah, true. you don't have the little home movie. But, but I, you associate I, the feeling, the feelings, and the right. concepts of it. So like, if a feeling is what I think of from a memory, I don't want bad feeling so I will just like change it in my head to be like oh this is what you learn from it so that's how this memory makes me feel huh. right like the first time I like um here's the perfect example uh in eighth grade the very the only time I ever ever felt truly shameful shamed in my life is the first time that somebody like called out my boobs and made a big mm-hmm. deal about them mm-hmm. and in that moment I remember being like someday I will deal with this and like when I had breast reduction surgery so like in my whole life I was like this fuck you, you don't get to make me feel like this. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have reduction surgery someday. So like when I had that, it became like an empowering moment because I was like, no, you don't get to choose my narrative. Right, right, right. So it's like that kind of thing where it's like, I I remember being like, no, you don't define me like that. Fuck you, I'm going to write you off forever. And now I'm going to do the thing that like, you will never get to say this shit about me again. But what about, so one thing that I get, I would say if I had to like think of little minor embarrassing moments, Mm -hmm. something that I do a lot is mistake people. Like the the wrong name 
or uh-huh. say something accident. Okay, here's something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were just at the Chateau. No, we, don't. we were at the Chateau Marmont. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I know. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> did you, do you remember? Yeah, who? I'm sure do. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me more. Uh, yeah. And when I used to work, I think I might have told the story on here before, but when I used to work at like the theater in Hollywood, mm-hmm. uh, John Belushi's son was in a play there. Mm-hmm. And like we were kind of flirting with each other and he was like, you look cute tonight. And I was like, thank you. And mm-hmm. I was like, I'm actually going to a party at Chateau Marmont. Mm-hmm. And then like we both stared at each other and I saw him oh, relive right. oh, his mm-hmm. uncle's death. Oh. And so I was just standing there watching him, and I was like, "Why did you say that? You knew that. You knew. That. Why did you have to say that?" <laughs> and like, I, I'm just thinking, and like, he was like cute, and like, uh-huh. and like, we both just like walked away in separate directions, and it was just like, why? Yeah, there's a bit of foot and mouth. Foot and mouth. Yeah, mouth. yeah, yeah. 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 foot and mouth for I sure. I don't remember any of them. Right. right. Like, I'm sure I have them, but I just like forget forget them. I. I'm living 50 first dates every day of my life. Wow. <laughs> like, straight up. It's so funny. Oh God, that means you end up with Adam Sandler. <laughs> oh, God. That yeah. Yeah. No, okay. So, so okay. So you I'll don't... take a Billy Madison. <laughs> okay. How do you guys feel about, like, a 50 first dates Groundhog Day situation where they're like, well, I'll just get to know you over time and manipulate your feelings yeah. into loving me uh, because you don't remember? It's a very creepy movie. <laughs> it's super creepy to be to wake up and be like, I have a child. Child, like that would be an awful day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Although I've had a lot of mom friends tell me that they do wake up and have that moment. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. so because I I think like life is so surreal that I think yeah. when you go into big life moments like that, like having a kid or getting married, you still wake up and you're like, oh, oh what? This is my this life. Is, yeah. 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 Oh yeah. That's why I think. I mean, Groundhog's Day is one of my favorite movies actually because of oh, that. I love it. Yeah. 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 I mean, that's what we are living really is the same reality over and over again, not learning from our mistakes. It's the whole yeah. thing about yeah. like, reincarnation. Super dark. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I've been working on a joke on stage about how like Barbara and I were just Easter bunnies, and um, when we were on our shift, you like could not take the the helm like the fa- the head off, so like. I've realized that like that's what it feels like to be in the Trump administration. It's just to be uh. stuck inside of an Easter bunny head that you can't take off <laughs> for three and a half hours, but it's like for four years. It is years. so weird knowing yeah. that you can't take it off. It's yeah. a horrible You're feeling. You're stuck. Like, I'm not used to being told what to do. Because yeah. you have moments of calm and you have moments of panic. There's like, oh, you, it runs the gamut. For yeah. sure. I, see, what you're describing sounds like scuba diving to me. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Pretty similar pretty. to that. So how do you guys think you're more open to scuba diving now? Fuck no. No, okay. no I never, I've never wanted to. Well, because if somebody... I was getting paid for it, maybe. Are you serious? Only... <laughs> so, what would the what would the price? Because that was the only reason I did the bunny. So you put, thing. you would scuba dive for the price you're making for the bunnies. No, That's what's holding I have you to back? make more. more than that. <laughs> yeah, I'm just more saying, that. like, I wouldn't have done it without <laughs> some kind some of monetary. Kind of, yeah. no, what's your you price? Know. What's your scuba price? Pro- I probably need to be getting paid like well I don't know it depends on what how long let's say is. you're underwater for two hours two hours yeah and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sweeten the deal and I'm gonna say it's uh, for a commercial for a commercial well yeah. I mean I five thousand hmm. dollars cool. solid yeah yeah no, that's pretty so, good so but what holds you back the fear of suffocating so- I just don't really like mm-hmm. yeah I don't know I guess I've never tried it so maybe I'd be fine with it somebody explained the bends to me before oh, yeah. I like yeah really that freaks it. me out too yeah and yeah. It, it just like really upset me that like my lungs could be ripped apart if I went up too sure. fast like and and that combined with my fear of sharks I'm like yeah well, what if there's a fucking shark in the water I need to escape it oh cool so it's either a shark eats me or my lungs explode inside of me <laughs> a lot. and so you know it's just me is me on the balls of my toes at all time I feel like I can't survive and it puts me at a disadvantage I don't like being so you wouldn't skew but I have any price it's not a price for you I don't think so yeah because I also feel like I don't know I can like see you know, like watch a video that other people have shot scuba diving. It'll be better than like probably what I'm experiencing, and it's fine. People say that because I mean, and I don't think everyone should skydive, but I think if you have any interest in yeah, it, yeah. you should. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And people are like, "No, I'll just watch a video." Yeah, of it. I'm like, the it's not the fucking skydiving same. to me would be it's a little bit different. The same. <laughs> I, to me, skydiving what? is different because it is like that's that. I, I guess I just don't think that there would be a th- as much of a thrill underwater. I feel like it would be very like, "Oh, this is cool. I'm looking at all this cool stuff." So sky you diving. just need one of those like 3D uh, screensavers, basically. And yeah, you're good. There one we of those go. fish. Yeah. <laughs> that I'm fine with. There's no sharks. It's great. Then uh, toasters with wings. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. That's a run to the sea, right? Yeah, <laughs> that's on the bottom of the ocean. I feel like I equate it though to like if you get too high and you're like, I'm in my body, I'm stuck, I don't know what to do, and it's the same thing with scuba diving. Mm, if yeah. you were to panic underwater, where you're like, get totally. me out, get me yeah, out. What can you do? You 
can't. You're fucked. That as yeah. I yeah. Yeah. those yeah. moments yeah. in the bunny head when you had that were, were hard because I was like, I did have some moments because it's yeah. really hot in there and you're just like, yeah, yeah. I can't breathe. I need to take yeah. this off. But it's just yeah. you, you want to be out of your own skin. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, Which I think that's why these extreme things are like that's how you grow mentally, right? Like you push yourself to your edge and you're like, okay, that's why you have to talk. I grew mentally a lot from that. I mean, yeah. Whether you're bungee jumping or you're the Eagle Rock Plaza, you know, you find you find your fish edge. market yeah. and yeah. <laughs> hey, man, you I, hang out I learned a lot about myself inside of that rally <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, <fine. laughs> um, so we've all been on the road like a little bit lately has anybody yeah. got any roads road stories roadhead what didn't get any road heads. Head. No. <gasps> no it was in Pretty Cincinnati Thanks. how was Cincy Cincy was fun I was in a uh, it felt it was I was in like a suburb of the city so I couldn't go in the city too much and I, I didn't have a car or anything and so I just kept like I was staying in like an extended stay hotel that was just like surrounded by business parks that were empty oh, dear God, so I just kept sad. just like during the day I would just like walk a mile and a half to like a barbecue place and then yeah. just like but I had a fridge at home so I'd be like well I'm just gonna get something for later so I'd be walking <laughs> yes. down the street with a backpack full of ribs just oh. like <laughs> Feeling like a murderer. Yeah, <laughs> just, yeah. Bo- just bones in my backpack. Yeah, okay. That's real weird. <laughs> awesome. So that was like most of, most of my time. I did. I went, to the, I went to a dog park with my friend Goodrich that opened for me, and that was like delightful oh. to be. And like in Cincinnati, everyone has big dogs. So it was just like big oh, dogs. Yeah, and like big dogs play. So much more like bigger than like mm-hmm. like little sure. dogs play, but big dogs just like oh I can see the wolf. It's almost like in watching you. bears prance. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> so like, that was that was pretty fun. Like I I I could just go. I should just like start going to dog parks in different cities. Is that sure. weird? No, it's no, not weird at all. Yeah, I mean, I always want to just go to the one by my house. Yeah, yeah you have uh, a good a dog. one. It's a really I good love one. that dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I actually had in Tahoe a very good dog experience as well. Oh, um, okay. I went on. There was this run there that was like the, it was honestly one of the most beautiful runs I've ever Up in been Tahoe, on. right? Yeah, 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 in my life, it was like this trail that goes along this river in the middle of like this pristine oh forest. God. So wow. you just got like running water, like beautiful creeks on one side, and then these like alpine snow covered mountains in oh, the wow. distance on either side. Damn. And it's like the most like heavenly thing. And then the whole time, like every half mile or so, beautiful dog. Oh. Just beautiful, <laughs> beautiful dog prancing in the forest. I thought you were going to be like, and a wolf came out and ran, ran no. us yeah. No. So just, just we just had Labradors. We had pennies. It was great. It was oh, great. That's so good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't have a story about a dog, but I have a story about a man. So yeah. same difference. Same thing. Um, All right. I, I all, all men are dogs. God damn it. That's why I wear yeah. peanut butter for my lipstick. <laughs> I'm doing Barbara's joke at her. <laughs> um, I, I wrote about, I tweeted about this, but I, so, you know, like I was on the road by myself and so trying to mm-hmm. kill time. So I went to go see a movie in the middle of the day. Yeah. And I went, what was I seeing? I was seeing, uh, oh, Isle of Dogs. Oh, oh I guess it is about oh, yeah. dogs. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> stories. We found like, that's dog so neat. Story. What up, dog? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, in. I go in there and it's only me mm-hmm. in this like, the, and I'm like, fuck yeah, because I was like, cool, I'm going to like, oh. I'm just like, I'm going to do a bunch of Instagram stories where I run around the theater, theater <laughs> ye- yelling, I love dogs. Sure. <laughs> I was like, cool, I'll set for that. So like, yes. who's that start? I'm sitting in the middle, like right in the middle yeah. of the whole theater. One man walks in. No. One man. And where does he sit? Next oh, to no. you. No. No. He behind sits you. Right, right behind no. me. Right behind me. One, one Literally thing behind back. You? One thing back and one over. So like I can uh, barely see that's him even in my worse periphery. Than directly behind you. Isn't that terrible? I was Get like, out of why here. would you ever do that? Did and you say immediately- something? I came so close. I like almost turned around and was like, you realize you- this is creepy. Yeah. Right? Ew. Like it was like being followed for two hours. Ew. Yeah. Like, for sure. That's sit right behind me. <laughs> for sure. And I was like on high alert, like listening for no, I was like, he's either going to jerk off or, or like take yeah. Totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right? Totally. Why would, just don't oh my do God. that, man. I wish you had gotten up and then sat the row behind him. <laughs> yeah, to be that's... like, motherfucker, this yeah. is where I sit. That's well, and it's also awkward because like, it's if so you creepy. get up and move, you're the only other person in the theater. So yeah. he's going to notice and then that's gonna yeah, make it the, more but of a then thing. like it's on him for being weird for sitting yeah. there in the yeah, first no, place I just mean like there. I would be worried that he would follow you and right, then, yeah, right. Yeah. yeah I, th- I was like I should get Ugh. up and go to the bathroom and then come back and sit somewhere else oh, I kept yeah. saying that but then I was like no it's fine so I was like trying to enjoy this movie but also being scared I was gonna like be uh, killed the whole time yeah that oh, sounds that's relaxing. horrible <laughs> it was so it was just so crazy it was yeah. like dude you don't, know that's a weird place to don't sit don't do that yeah. does he yeah do th- I they I don't, don't know. know. I don't know what he, they he might think have been, about it. He might have been one of those people that like when there's plenty of seats on the bus, they sit next to you. Yeah. But isn't that generally a creep? I think so. But then I think they just don't know. Yeah. I think some guys like don't 
see themselves as threatening. They don't realize their place in the world. And it's like, no, you're, you're creepy right now. Yeah. It's like, I've definitely, yeah. when I used to drive for Lyft, I've had people that would like sit behind me as the driver. That's so weird. As opposed yeah. to the diagonal. And I'd be yeah. like, hey, do you mind moving over there? And, yeah. I would, yeah. and they'd be like, oh, okay. And I'd be like, it's not, it's not you. It's just, you know, it's weird that I can't see your face. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. Just like, move over there. Just like, I'll think about other people <laughs> and their experience in the world. It's you just know? so weird. It's just so weird to yeah. do that. Yeah. Oh God. And, uh, and, and then we both were like kind of laughing at some of the same stuff. So oh, I was like, God. I guess I'm safe. <laughs> That's so weird too. Yes, to make I'm safe. Uh, yeah. you're uh, it was bizarre. I came so close, but it was like you know, it was a pretty good date for all the ones. I've had. Yeah, I was gonna say. Are you sure it, it wasn't work. cute? It was like a, I don't know. I never saw his face. But, yeah. I mean, what if this was like your meet cute? I mean, what if he like you know, just go. like how you were viewing the situation? I, you turn around and it's Ryan Gosling. Lately, like I've True. been, I yeah. you know, I kind of like lately am holding myself back from doing certain stuff that I want to do, where I wanted to turn around and be like you know that's weird. Like, and I yeah. wish I should have just done mm-hmm. it. I yeah. don't know what's holding me back. I guess just society or something. But Fuck it. But yeah, I, I, there's things like that Fuck lately it. where I'm like, man, I really want to do this thing and I'm not letting myself and I want to like get to the point where I just let myself do the been, thing. I've been leaning into it. It feels yeah, great. Just, just clapping in man's face like they're coyotes. <laughs> just get away from me. Stop it. It's great. I do that. Yeah. When somebody's aggressive towards yeah, me, yeah, I do oh, that yeah. shit. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. But they have to like make the move first. For sure. You know? yeah. And I don't want to necessarily be a dick to him. I was just more curious. I want yeah. to be like, yeah. Do you re- do you yeah. understand that Don't, we did is weird? Because maybe he would be like, "Oh, <laughs> oh, sorry, dude, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, I've learned from this." So Where sorry. was this? What it city? was in. Uh, it was in Oakland. It was in like the Bay oh. area. Mm-hmm. He should know. Yeah, I know. I Come know. on, you're in the woke Bay. Come on, man. Yeah, like, yeah. figure it out. Yeah, it was weird. <laughs> in Olympia, we had a guy who who left because it was in the back of a bar and there was mm-hmm. a show, and he came. Oh, he came out of the front. We found out later. And there was a stage door on the back, uh-huh. right on the stage. Danced on the stage during our, my band set, my yeah. friend's band set, Get Married. Opened yeah. the door, came on stage, and everyone's looking at him like, you know this is wrong, Why right? Why are you doing this? And he didn't have shoes on, which was part of the reason he got kicked out. Yeah. Found yeah. his way yeah. back into the bar through the show. <laughs> dance. It was one of those things where you're like, is this dangerous? Is this guy okay? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. like, yeah. 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 like yeah. 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 so harmless fun? that it's like nothing exactly. or it's like super dangerous? Like, right. Yeah. I don't know. What extremes? Yeah. It's similar to your sitting like in exactly. behind yeah. you. It's like, just like I don't oblivious know or is... like crazy psychopath. Well, That's, and it's yeah. like I just, which one? I also resent anybody that like lives in the world as if they are the star of the movie and everyone else is just there to serve them and like their experience. I fucking hate that shit yeah. so much. Like right. I was just like, oh, this this is what I want to do in the moment. And it's like, no, you're fucking performing. <laughs> like it's not about you right now. Like things it's just aren't totally about you. About just to play yeah. devil's advocate for the movie theater situation, uh-huh. um, there are only like four good seats in a movie theater i don't think that's true like at the, all but like if i if you have your run of theater I you could, want like the chunk in the middle right like if you do have there your were hundreds of other seats okay. literally yeah. hundreds like he he could have sat okay anywhere or like one to the left or right i think a couple more <laughs> yeah, i think would yeah. have been you know yeah. Yeah. or even same row as you two two or three seats away is that that's less no. creepy right I don't think I'd want that either. I think same row you would, is, rather have would same be row. fine. Really? Yeah. You can't, I couldn't see him. Yeah. He mm-hmm. like was right the there. But you can't really see him, him if he's in your periphery but either. You, I think I, I could have seen him more. Like, yeah. I think you, you, you'd you be quicker to catch that, like a movement there than a movement like here. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I'm doing jazz hands. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing creepy man jazz hands. Yeah. Yeah. I think <laughs> awkward wise, I would rather have I'd be about as displeased in the same row as I would yeah. have me because it just trust uh, me. It was literally space-wise. like someone following me for an hour. So though. like you know when you there's a presence behind you, it's not I fun. Hate that. Yeah, Ugh. I always feel bad when I'm out on a run and I'm like I don't want to slow down too much, but I always feel bad mm. when I like come up like behind like yeah, 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 yeah. I'm like sorry, it's just I'm just just a person on a run. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> that's all it is. Yeah, I, I usually just yell behind you, but I don't know if that's. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, fine. That's really nice. Okay, it's more yeah. thoughtful than most people. <laughs> yeah, most people are just like a you presence could get a little bike past you. Bike bell. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> I should get a bike bell for my body. <laughs> body <laughs> bell. <laughs> just get a bike bell uh, belly button. Yeah, <laughs> that's just rings. That scratches so many itches. Yeah. <laughs> I keep thinking about getting my belly button pierced again. Do it. Yeah, I'm just like fuck it. Who cares? It's summer. Let's... It's hilarious. I'll also, I like, know. I I really enjoyed having a belly button ring. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, it's a fun piercing to have. Yeah, it's very dumb. I'm, I'm definitely going to get my nose pierced again at some point. I'm yes. sure. Caitlin, no. pier- piercings. Have you ever had huh? it? 
No, uh, ears. Ears. That's it? Nothing yeah. else. Just, uh, just classic Are you ears. really a musician or what? Yeah, are you, are you <laughs> clearly a poser. Are you punk enough? <laughs> Can you please just help with my imposter syndrome right now? Uh, I pierced my own ears, though, which oh, felt that's kind of intense. badass. When? How old were you? I was like 16. Oh, wow. Yeah. With like the needle and everything? Well, or? I had gotten the, the bottom ones done at Claire's, and they okay. give you those piercing yeah. uh, earrings. Yeah. And I was just like, I want these, and I did two above, and then I wanted the cartilage, so I did the cartilage. You did that by yourself? Cartilage is intense. I, well, I have problems with like letting go, so uh-huh. letting other people hurt me is like a gift. You yeah, know, like yeah. like if I trust you to like be my doctor, uh, right. but if I'm doing it to myself, I have control over it, so it's like a control issue thing. Oh, I'm, wow. I'm actually crazy. <laughs> <laughs> That's so, impressive. You wear it well. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> That's cool. I have two piercings in either ear, but I never wear earrings, so the opposite mm-hmm. hole has closed up on each oh, ear. No. <laughs> so when I put in earrings, they're like slightly cocky. Uh, <laughs> well, but I also don't care enough to fix it because I don't wear earrings enough to like yeah, I keep them in them. long enough. You to... know who to call. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. Let's, Let's do, do it, it now. Yeah, oh my god. Piercing. 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 Uh, piercing. <laughs> <laughs> I got I, I, these holes closed up, but at one point in high school, my friend pierced my ears on a tractor. Oh, hell yeah. While we were waiting in line to drive tractors in floristry, I badass. was literally sitting on a tire and my friend had a piercing gun in her backpack and she was like, do you want me to pierce your ears? I was like, yeah, sure. Fuck yeah. Damn. Kelly Foot pierced my ears Pierc- on a tractor. Ca- carrying around a piercing gun in your backpack. That's a move. Yeah. 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 On the go piercings. <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> Full shop service. You didn't even have to leave school. That's awesome. Um, okay. Get yourself pierced. We'll be back. Be yeah. Ladies, if you're looking to upgrade your sleepwear, check out Lunia. They're designing thoughtfully luxurious sleepwear that actually performs in the bedroom. Innovation isn't a word often associated with sleepwear, but damn, it's 2018 and it's about time. Mm-hmm. Yes, we got uh, we all got a few sets of the sleepwear. They're so nice. Yeah, I love oh, it. There's nothing like it's. It really like switches you into night mode. You know, you're like yes. ready to relax, to go to bed, Absolutely. to like be refreshed. They're so comfortable and they're like sexy and cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Sean was like, "You look hot," and he straight up was like, "You look really sexy." In that. Yeah, right? they're sexy and they're yeah. like they're just so comfy. Yeah, it like makes you feel very luxurious. Like bedtime is an event, also too, yes. right? Just to be like, oh, now it's time for my sleep. And yeah, you feel so to over. going to bed instead of being hunched over your laptop until 2 a.m. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, and it's like whether you're a hot sleeper or a cold sleeper, you know, mm-hmm. you each Lunia piece like works together to meet your sleep needs. Your boobs not falling out of these. They're very yeah. like carefully cut and everything just stays in nice and comfy. For sure. And like the the fabric is uh, a washable silk, which is really awesome because it's like very silky and fun, but you can still like clean them. I I don't know how you wash regular silk. I just assume, you know, it seems like... I think like, it's more complicated. Yeah, it seems very complicated. This is easy. You just throw it in the wash. It, like, washes up. And I feel like it gets softer every time I've, like, washed it mm-hmm. so far, too, which is pretty awesome. So find out why the Fast Company is raving about Lunia and get 15% off your first purchase when you go to lunia.co and enter promo code lady to lady. That's L-U-N-Y-A dot C-O. Enter promo code lady to lady for 15% off your first purchase. Lunia, sleepwear for the modern woman. <laughs> Hey, we're back on Lady to Lady. I'm Brandy. I'm Babs. I'm Tess. And we're with Caitlin West. Hey, I'm me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, do you want to play a game? Have you ever heard of it? I sure have. Let's play a game. <laughs> oh, Caitlin, geez. in the second segment of the podcast, sometimes we play games. Tell, I don't tell know. me about the game. <laughs> <don't know> about <laughs> they have theme songs? Yeah. No it's crazy. crazy. Fuck yeah. <laughs> We're going to play a little game called Who, What, When, Where, and Why. Yeah. Who, what, where, when, who, what, where, when, who, what, where, when, who, what, where, when, why? Okay. Number one, who is a celebrity people would be surprised that you like? A celebrity that I like? Yeah. Is there somebody that you're like, oh, I don't know. Mm, Oh, yes, but I don't remember his name. Uh, who's that guy? Yeah, big see, fan. this is great. Big yeah. fan, big fan. Uh, he was in Okja, and he's that dude with the black hair, super nerdy looking. Is he the main character? I haven't seen it. He's like the. Um, he was also in Little Miss Sunshine. What's his? Oh, face? the brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like him because I think he's like nerdy, cool. Yeah. What the fuck is his name? I'm sorry, dude. Um, who's may- if you're listening to this somehow? I'm so sorry. He is listening. Uh uh uh. Is he the sarcastic British reporter? 
Or, in Okja? Uh, yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at Okja. Oh that is a deep cut, Wait, Kaylin. I'm so he's sorry. Like, that, I don't that's really... the fourth person on the bill. It doesn't make it any sense. It's not like a celebrity. A yeah, this, is, this isn't like, oh, I like Kim Kardashian and I'm embarrassed. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm not embarrassed. I know no one. I was, in, I was walking at South by Southwest a couple of years ago with my friends and we were playing and I saw this guy I thought I knew and I ran up to him and I was like, hey, you remember me? We played a show together. He was like, no, no, no. And my band is like giving me the don't talk like that person. Like, and they walk back and they're like, why did you just grab Michael Sarah, and I was like, uh, I was uh, like, do no, you? I am me. so sorry. Uh, like, I, that's so funny. And so yeah. like, hilarious. Just so you know, who you're asking, just your demographic uh, here doesn't recognize Michael Sarah. Uh, oh wait, you're talking about Paul Dano? Paul Dano. Fuck yeah, Paul, Paul Dano. Dano. Oh, I know. I, we found his name at the same time. Yeah, well, Kaylin, it's him. interesting that you bring so that up. Sorry. You may so or may sorry. not know, uh, Barbara. Do you have some news about yeah, Paul Dano? Do you know that Paul Dano collects teeth? <laughs> <laughs> I just know that. He does. Yes, you just talked about this. <laughs> I know. I knew his name, Paul Dano. I just think he's so nerdy and charming. Yeah, yeah. He's he's like he rules. That's so funny that it was Paul <laughs> Dano. I was, like, I was like, what's a weird name? What's like, who's this third person? Oh, God it's so damn funny. It. Oh my God. He's yeah. great in um, uh, uh, I Drink Your Milkshake. What's that movie? No Country for Old Blood or whatever? Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Old Blood has no country. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Wait, yeah. I want to see. Okay, so that Paul Dano collects teeth is what real Greg Kinnear posted on Twitter. I want to see <laughs> what real Greg Kinnear has posted recently. You guys ready? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not on. actually him. Okay. You can't spell evolve without love. Oh, <laughs> I feel like Greg Kinnear would say that. <laughs> yeah, Keep like your Greg chin Kinnear. up always. Be happy. Smile and relax. Relax is in. <laughs> that caps. doesn't seem like Greg Kinnear. Okay, Greg Kinnear. Oh, here's this one. <laughs> life is unkind at the best of times. Oh. <laughs> cool. So hey, Greg Kinnear, you've had a nice life. Take it down a notch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just want to wish all you loving compadres a very happy new year. Hashtag love. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I hate the idea of Greg Kinnear saying compadres. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I but don't also know why. I can see it. For yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. For yeah. sure. It just really bothers me for some it reason. It seems inappropriate. Yeah. It's just like he's like throwing up a shaka and you're like, all right. Yeah. Okay. You're like 50. Take yeah. it down a notch. <laughs> I would like to go to El Compadres with Greg Kinnear. There you go. Mm, Great too. Mexican restaurant. In LA, if you yeah, get a flaming margarita oh my with God, Greg Kinnear. Please, that sounds chain. like a, I'm just watching Dodger game with Greg I'm Kinnear. I'm sorry, French Stewart, but oh my God, we should get. Pre- can we get Greg Kinnear on the Let's next anniversary? Look, can yeah. everybody tweet at Real Greg Kinnear? Yes. 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 See if you can get yes. the Real Greg Kinnear yeah. Yeah. through this Greg Kinnear. Yes. <laughs> through, through fake Greg Kinnear. Any, honestly, Greg Kinnear. we'll take most Greg Kinnears. If, yeah, you yeah, are, yeah. if your and name is Greg Kinnear, Greg Kinnear. Yeah. <laughs> we'll take you. That would be really funny if we just started having on guests that had celebrity names. Yes. They weren't the celebrity. <laughs> just like, I yeah, think that's we've, great. We've got Matt Dillon on the show. This. I don't know why that's the first person <laughs> I pulled. We just get two guys <laughs> named Matt and Dillon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Name I kind of want to interview. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I have this guy, you guys, who I've had the same phone number as him for 10 years. Or oh, almost man. the same phone number. His area code is one digit off mine. Um, but I know so much about this guy that I, at this point, want to interview him and see if I can guess accurately, like how how many different things about his life. Like That's I know so when he got a girlfriend, I know Ask that they him. got a second dog. Oh, do you know his number? Uh, oh, yes, yeah, not- I do. I'm not going to say it because it's almost my number. But yeah. it's, right. people it's call one digit off. and I'm like, oh, you're looking for Chris. His n- my n- you called this. His number is this. Wow. You should text him and ask him if you can talk to him on the show. I yeah. should. Dude, that's, that's a great, great idea. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys want to talk to Chris? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Be like, okay. Hey, we have one him. number. I keep getting yes. calls for you. No, he knows me because I texted him like five years ago. I called him five years ago and I was like, hey, it's Tess. And I was like, <laughs> my <laughs> my <laughs> phone number is an LA phone number and his number is not, but it looks like an LA phone number. So. People oh, okay. always call me because he lives in LA. So he mm. tried to say, I said, look, Chris, I'm getting okay. your number all the time. Um, I said, you got to tell people that your area code is this. And he said, oh, that's funny because I get people calls for you all the time. I said, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, no, you don't. I, no, you don't. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't. And I said, you need to <laughs> double check. thing to lie about. I know. And so, you know what? Maybe Chris and I can have a knowledge off. Yeah. We'll see who knows, who knows more, more about who. Yes. That's <laughs> oh, such I a love great this. idea. <laughs> yeah. It'll be like that. the honey. Yeah. What the... The love, whatever the fuck that show is, the the love connection. newlywed game, newlywed game, but, oh, but yeah. the same number game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's but awesome. Say, honey, I shrunk the kids. <laughs> yeah, it'll be like, honey, I shrunk yeah. the kids. Yeah, we'll yeah. shrink the kids. We'll to Chris. <laughs> yeah, you can like battle a scorpion together and <laughs> throw out facts about each other. That'd be great. <laughs> that's so. Funny. I always really wanted to eat the Oreo in that movie. Oh you know, when yeah, they find the Oreo oh, and they like oh, they take the big scoops out. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Did they have like? 
like, it, wasn't there like a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids like area somewhere? In Disney, Disneyland? There's Disney. a band. Yeah, Disney it's where Captain Neo used to be, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Everything was huge. The Big Ant. It was awesome. Yeah, I was, was fun. obsessed with that movie. That I loved movie was it so good. much. It's also, the, yeah. the thing that I wanted to see the most the first time I went to Las Vegas was Old Vegas from Honey, I Blew Up the Kid. It was like, <laughs> I was like, I want to see this. I want to see the neon signs. The baby was not going to work. I was so sorry. I keep stepping on Tessa's foot. It's okay. Sorry. <laughs> They're big. They're big. <laughs> I always wanted to see the sign graveyard from a Me Vegas too. vacation. Oh yeah, yeah. The sign isn't that like a museum? You yeah, can go museum to? of uh, neon, neon museum, yeah. museum or something in Vegas. Yeah, mm. you can go. It's really cool. Yeah, that's like one of those like recommended road trip places. Yeah, but you have to like it's really popular, so you have to get tickets in advance. Uh-huh. I feel like I never know in advance. Yeah. enough in advance of a Vegas trip. Yeah. Because it's like you book it like two months out and it's right. like, oh yeah, fuck that. Yeah. It's Vegas two months out. Although, well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do have a, <laughs> 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 you have an do ecstasy and go to the, uh, the uh, Neon Museum. We very okay. planned out. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't just throwing out I'm gonna be I in, will oh say. Yeah, I'm going to be in D.C. when Tess is having her, her bachelor party yeah, in Vegas, you'll unfortunately. You'll live vicariously. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I am also, okay, I'm supposed to maybe go to Vegas with this guy for like a weekend, oh. like a month before that and I'm like how much am I going to go to Vegas in 2000? I think this is you know I've had years that I've gone to Vegas quite a bit and they've been great years yeah, in my life. Yeah that's true. Yeah. Maybe it's fine. Yeah. I went to Vegas I'll four times last year. Yeah. I'm, not a, I'm not that much of a Vegas person. Yeah. I had a great time every single time I went. I know but it's, he's like, if, it's if, like three days. Three days is too long. You should see if dude oh, wants to go you should see if dude wants to go to Beatle Cirque du Soleil. Oh, that's a good idea. Right? Yeah. That's really good. If he wants yeah. to pay for yeah. it. Yeah. Well, fun. exactly. And if he doesn't, see if he wants to pay for uh, Baz. I really like that show, too. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which one's yeah. Baz? It's a, it's a review from Baz Luhrmann movies, which oh. sounds like it could go really wrong, but it's done really well. Like, the singing I guess is really, a live show would be good. It's really cool. Baz Luhrmann mu- is Cirque du Soleil. He just yeah. makes movies. Totally. Yeah. You know? Like, it's yeah. really... The chick who plays the Green Fairy is also the violinist. Mm. And so she's like, Whoa, it's cool. really cool. That's cool. Yeah. That's my recommend. Yeah, I've never really seen yeah. a big Vegas show, so that would be... I yeah, think if you're going to spend an extended time in Vegas, that's when you knock out those shows okay. that you're like, I should see that sometime. Because I'm yeah, also yeah. like, I don't... I breathe just kind of dating and I'm like, well, I guess we're going to really figure out if we like each other. Is this dude who I think it is? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but also, I'm like, I'm like, uh, you know, it's just a it's lot. A, it's a thing. Time. A vacation is a thing, but yeah. it's also like fun. Yeah, I, well, yeah. Also, I was like, well, but also we'll be like fucked up the whole. Time. It'll be very fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it'll be a good time. <laughs> I think that's great. Just go for it. Yeah, 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 I think so. I'm. I, it'll be the weekend after my album, so I'm like, oh great. Oh, well, oh you want to cut loose? Like, oh, let me. I owe it to myself. Yeah, yes. yeah. <laughs> well, I think you should do it. And that's I guess awesome. I think probably a good place for a first like vacation together because there's so much people watching. There's yeah. so much to that's com- true. Comment. Stimulus. On. Yeah, you can be like, oh boom, I'm just gonna do bits on everything. Yeah, you know, there's yeah. no lulling conversation. You can be like, what the fuck is that? I always think about my. That favorite true. friends yeah. episode which is the one where Rachel and Joey are drunk in Vegas and they draw mustaches on each other isn't that Aww. the one that they get married yeah yeah. he said it was weird because he was like hey Vegas will be fun we, we may like come back married and I he was joking but I was like oh cute uh, <laughs> well, Jesus, and okay. I was like yeah or we're gonna fucking hate each other do you <laughs> no. remember a couple like years ago there was this website going around with like how to fall in love with someone and one of the qualifications was that you have to do something novelty together oh and then, was and that the, it's the question the question yeah that's quiz, what it was yeah. it was the quiz oh. this this is your thing. <laughs> this, there you yeah. Go. Yeah. this is your novelty weird thing. Oh, yeah. 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 Perfect. Perfect. Hell yeah. He's going for like a work conference or something. So Dude, we get to stay in Caesars. Oh, this is, my God. This is and then be he'll so be at fun. work and yeah. then you'll have your by yourself time. By the yeah. Way. Yeah. So it won't be just be us. I think you'll be great. Because yeah. yeah. that's going to be a totally. very different trip than my bachelorette party. It yeah. will, but it won't. We're also <laughs> it plan was like, we were like, we're going to take Molly and go dancing. I was like, okay, oh. that will be similar. <laughs> <laughs> I'll Holy just shit. know the guy who I'm going to dance with before right, the night exactly, starts. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Did I sound like a narc when I called Molly ecstasy before? Do people no, say no, ecstasy? It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know people said that word anymore. No, no. They, they, they try do. to act like it's different, okay. but it's same. like, yeah. Same exact thing. Yeah. I just it's like, wait a oh, second. So I'd just like so to shout cute. out to my future bi- my future biographer for this mm. story that they're going to yeah. print. Hey, yes. hey, old Babs, remember this? <laughs> no, you don't. There's <laughs> a little glimpse into Holy your upcoming <laughs> vacation. That's awesome. Hell yeah. All right. I kind of want to play at our wedding. Actually, I was on Sean's podcast like six months before we dated and he accidentally called me Mrs. Barker. 
And I was like, it's oh. not Mrs. It's Ms. I'm never getting married. Oh, <laughs> shit. That's hilarious. I kind of want to find that clue. Oh, like, incorporated should. into That's something. That's super cute. I love the yeah. idea of him being like, challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> That way he's like, yeah, put it in sports terms. He was like, all right, I'll make this touchdown. Yeah, yeah. so I'm the underdog. <laughs> <laughs> a wedding is like winning the World Series. <laughs> the World the Series of World Series of your life? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Right? There you go. Yeah. Yeah, um, you guys get rings and everything. Yeah, you each beat out, yeah, other, you each beat out lesser, lesser competitors. Yeah. <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> you get to trash. It's perfect. Trash Philadelphia afterwards. Too. Sure. I would yeah. love it. I, I could see a tiny riot happening after you get married. Like there should, so, a car should I be I mean, flipped. like I said, yeah. I'm very excited to meet Sean's Philly oh, family. There's going to be so many wild, so much wildness. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait. So, I mean, it's, yes, the whole thing is going to, uh, wild is all I can think of. We have wildflowers and wild people. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god um okay speaking of flowers kaylin what is the perk of being a wallflower good what question. is it i don't know you mean other than the book sure i mean yeah, whatever that's you the wanna, reference yeah that's okay. whatever that means <laughs> i love that fucking book yeah i've never read um, it either it's really good is it michael sarah in that movie no he just seems like he a, would be it, it seems, seems like, like he is, yeah. is that guy he is is that guy yeah yeah, yeah. he's in my favorite quotes from that book which is like in that moment we were infinite yeah. Fucking love that. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, the, I don't know, per, what's the perk of being a wallflower? Like, like observing. Yeah, you sit back, mm -hmm. you like watch it yeah. to make it happen. Get to like know. think about how weird people are and then turn it inward and make that social anxiety happen. Yeah. Yeah. It's certainly not totally. me that's weird. It's certainly watching not everyone. Me. <laughs> <laughs> are they looking at me or am I looking at them? Um, yeah. I think there's something nice about uh, when you have like wallflower moments of just being like, oh, it's like not about me right now. And also it's like yeah. no one else is paying attention to you. It just sometimes it's like very refreshing to feel like a little bit invisible, I think. Mm -hmm. To me at least. To be yeah. like, oh, Cool. Yeah. Look what else is happening in the world. It's billions of people. So it's mm -hmm. good to remind yourself that not everyone is watching all of your shit all mm. of the time. Yeah. I think that's like one of the keys to overcoming social anxiety is like realizing that like no one's watching you. Yeah. Really. Yeah. For sure. I don't know about Unless you. you're sitting behind Babs in the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah you're, exactly. You're sticking out. You're well, clipping yeah. pieces of hair. When you guys are traveling, don't <laughs> you like playing to new people or talking yes. to new for people? For sure. Yeah. And, like, I love it. To me, that's like the perk of traveling and feeling like you're not you don't know anybody yes yeah. even though it's hard like mm -hmm. i would much rather perform and and you know oh be for with sure new people than it's, a, it's always easier people i know like to strangers i think that's yeah. definitely the ideal situation yeah. yeah yeah that's why like friends are always like let me know when your show is i'm like nah. yeah. <laughs> you're like no. that's what i'm saying check, check my calendar to <laughs> my friend jaylene who's here <laughs> yeah. um i was because uh, since i'm recording the album in salt lake i'm like oh god like I really hope I don't have too many moments of looking at that audience and seeing like yeah. randos from high school. <laughs> I'm very oh, excited yeah. for the drama president to come to your I album totally recording. Too. If you're listening, you better that, be there, taking bitch. Taking out that joke. <laughs> you have to. Oh, you have to do it. You, you have, have to do it. it. You have to oh look her God. in the eyes as you do it. Too. <laughs> Just Where are you contact. now? Can you please I need a call. Like, you know, the yeah, yeah, like for challenge it. her to like a rent off <laughs> on stage. Oh. Here's your bonus track. Oh, the joke starts in the background. We just hear. Dun, yeah. Dun, 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 and I just like stare her down. <laughs> How were you, drama president, for a year? <laughs> I know. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Uh, There's a lot of too good. A lot of shit. Um, so funny. It is funny that I'm pretending like I ever don't want to be the center of attention, but that's not true. I'm like, oh, yeah, it's great sitting on the side of my Yeah, just people. letting this one pass you by. <laughs> <laughs> Who little old me in this dress? I'm just here to blend in. <laughs> I would say my favorite. I've been really liking uh, going. I like go to just hang out at a dive bar by myself. And I don't know if I talked about this, but um, I I was I went to like hang out at Club TG alone, and there were like different groups of friends hanging out, mm. and no, there's no no music playing. Nobody put anything on the jukebox, so I was like here's my time. And so I was like, I'm going to get these people to like dance, yeah. you know, just by like putting stuff on. Yeah. So that was really fun to experiment with like people I didn't know at all. Yeah. And like, just like with that, I think a uh, leader of the pack was a bigger hit than I thought it'd be. Oh, <laughs> interesting vroom, vroom. choice. Yeah. That's a good like, song. I, like, I did a duet lip sync of that with my mom in. What? 
that's so in, and that's not even the most inappropriate part of the story. In <laughs> Indian Maidens, which was the inappropriate group that we were in as part of the YMCA oh when I was a kid. God. Yeah, a bunch of white ladies dressed like Native what? Americans. So yeah. you're like, so you're really oh, going out with him? Yeah. Yikes. No, it was a common program. That oh, movie, boy. Man of the House, yeah. is about that. You oh, know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah this okay. was the, this okay. the mid 90s. Uh, yeah, real rain dance. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Rain so dance at movie. Indian Maidens camp, my mom and I did a duet lip sync of Leader of the Pack. Oh, God. Yeah. Didn't win. That's amazing. That song is always <laughs> really fun because it's a jam until like somebody dies in the middle of that song. Oh, yeah. It yeah. just runs off the road. You hear an accident and then you're like, and then the music just like kicks back in. And you're like, oh, well, so there's we're still dead. Like, yeah. Does he die? Yeah. It's oh, an damn. art piece. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's like, oh no, look out, look out. And then, yeah. I, and forgot, then goes, I, I guess I didn't oh. hit me. I thought he just left her. No, no, he like Maybe runs off he, the road. Yeah, he, he faked an accident. So <laughs> I think that was. Let's I think that, that went over my head. <laughs> oh man, yeah. yeah. <sighs> I like I like oldie songs that tell a story. This is like my favorite songs. Just like paint me a picture. Yeah, of yeah. Somebody. There's, a, there's a lot of good old old yeah. country songs that still do that. Yeah, that's why I like. And musical theater. <laughs> Five hundred twenty-five thousand. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. It's okay. fine. All right, we're <laughs> gonna do the <laughs> catcher. Sorry, sorry, Brandy. All right, so before we go to break, Kaylin, we're about to hear something from you. Uh, yeah, I got a new album coming out June first, and here's a song from it. I hope you like it. Don't call me a catch. Compare me to all the rest. Don't tell me that I'm asking for it if I wear a dress. Don't tell me who. War is best Who looks like a whore Who eats too much Who should eat more This is the best we can do Then it's war Yeah, it's not The right to ignore Men in the street And it's not lady Like to want to scream Where are your fathers? I'm not a piece of me So don't Lady is supported in part by Brandless. Why does it cost a fortune to buy healthy, natural things that are better for you? Brandless.com lets you buy high quality, better for you products for just $3 each. 
They have gluten-free, vegan, non-GMO, and cruelty-free products across a variety of everyday essentials, including organic products, clean beauty, personal care, non-toxic cleaners, and home goods. That is true. We all got a box of brandless stuff, and they had a lot of good yummy shit in there. Mm-hmm. There were these cheese crackers that mm. were fucking delicious that I forgot about because I yes. ate them so fast. They were like the first thing that I did. I was like, ooh, don't mind if I do. I was like, I'm eating those while I'm packing the rest of the box. Yeah, yeah. Those you can, are like, really yummy. really scratch that like kid snack itch. They have the cheese yeah. crackers and the applesauce. You could do like sweet and savory together. Yeah. And they have the applesauce pouches, which was really great. You feel like a Capri Sun. You're just like knocking back an applesauce mm-hmm. pouch. They were really good. I haven't had like applesauce in a minute. Applesauce is bomb. And I was like, oh, man, I got to get some more applesauce in my life. It's real tasty. Yeah, so they've got a lot of, like, standards and a lot of, you know, fun snacks and stuff like that. Just stuff for your house that you need that you want to get shipped to your house because you don't want to deal with going to get it. Save mm-hmm. yourself the trip out to run errands. Use that time to catch up on, like, Drag Race or something. Yeah. And just start checking off stuff that you need. Put it in your basket. And also, like, all of, like, the labels are, like, very clean looking. It's just, like, I like the look and vibe of, of everything that Brandless does, which is totally. awesome. So start building your brandless box today and get free shipping on your first order at brandless.com. Better everything for everyone. All three dollars. Brandless.com. Hey everybody, we're back on Lady to Lady. Uh, what's Do you want to say your name? Who are no, you, Barbara? Okay. I think they know yeah. at this point, probably. Yeah. I'm Brandy. <laughs> <laughs> Who I'm the fuck me. are you? Who are you? I'm Kayla. Who is that? Hey. Uh, we're going to do a lady problem. If you guys have one, send them to us at lady to lady at oh, lady to lady comedy, comedy at, at gmail.com. gmail.com. Lady. Lady problems. Lady. Lady problems. Lady problems. Do you have them? Lady problems. Do you have them? People have them. Hey, ladies. Like a year and a half ago, I met a guy and we became friends as part of a little community of podcast fans. I made the predictable mistake of hooking up with this guy. And while I knew it was a mistake right away, I didn't handle it right. Um, I.e. shutting it down immediately. What followed was pretty unpleasant. Ultimately, I had to walk away from the community of great friends I had made because the guy was a total creep and refused to respect me saying, leave me alone and blocking... Respect me saying leave me alone and blocking him on every social media as a sign to actually leave me alone. It's been a few months, and now I think I'm finally rid of this guy, but I'm still so angry. I'm angry that I don't get to talk to those friends every day like I used to. I'm angry that I hooked up with someone I knew I wasn't interested in. I'm angry that that dude refused to respect my feelings when I was direct about about them. So I guess my question is, how do you get over being really angry at creepy guys? I've blocked him everywhere, but we still have mutual social media friends, so his name pops up occasionally, and I'm reminded of how awful it felt to walk away from that friend group and how bitter I am that I had to do it because of a shitty dude. It's been months, but I just saw a friend tweet about him, and I just want to yell. How dare this guy tell a bunch of people he was in love with me? He barely knew me. He never listened to anything I said and just kept trying to ineptly gaslight me. Why wouldn't he just leave me alone? Okay, that was the rant part, but seriously, how do I get over being angry? You ladies are amazing. Any advice would be appreciated. Hmm... I mean, I think it's just, like, how you deal with any kind of anger, which is just, like, you've got to, like, you know, I always think that the key is just, like, staying present because you're just you're reeling over something that's already passed. Mm -hmm. You've you've taken all the actionable steps. You've blocked him. You've cut him out. You've, like, you, as far as things you can do about it, you've checked all those boxes. So now at this point, I think it's just, like, doing what you need to do to get out of the past Mm -hmm. and move on. Yeah, for sure. And it's, like, if these people, like, in this friend group like chose this dude that quickly over you and like aren't you're not friendly with them anymore like they weren't really your friends yeah i in can't the first tell place. what happened yeah. if yeah. that is what happened or if she just extricated herself from the friend group because of him she might have That's like just not happened. wanted to explain i uh, totally get that mm-hmm. yeah. yeah maybe embarrassed or yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. but i mean i maybe. think the fact that she mm-hmm. made friends so quickly with this group i think that shows that you're going to be able to make friends mm-hmm. with sort of sort of whatever group you choose to, to include yourself in. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. I would just start the process of moving forward. Yeah. Don't stop beating yourself up over hooking up with them. First of all, oh, like, that's, yeah, we've yeah, all yeah. hooked up with regrettables. Yeah. It's yeah, happened. It and it's yeah. like, it's, yeah. it's not the end of the world. <laughs> right? I just made a horrible face. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That little flashback. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah and it it's happens. like, you can't, it happens and you didn't know that he was going to do all that shit. Yeah, I mean, yeah. really. You know, it's so easy to like be mm-hmm. charmed by somebody in an whatever in a moment, and yeah. it fucking happens. It's not. 
mm-hmm. the end of the world. And so don't beat yourself up over that. Whatever. I but just like you got to move on. The th- thing about being angry, it's like, is she angry at herself more than she's angry at the, the situation or at the guy on his responses is what I'm confused about. I yeah. Think, I think it sounds like both. both. Kind of. Yeah. I All think especially usually when you are angry at yourself, it like manifests and like you're projecting it onto other people. Totally. That yeah. is true. Mm-hmm. Just like the power that you're letting this person have mm-hmm. over yeah. you. Yeah. And then you're frustrated with your impatient with yourself for not like moving on from yes. it faster. It's really hard. I'm talking about this before, but it sucks when you know how shitty someone is, but other people don't mm-hmm. kind of like mm-hmm. acknowledge that. Yeah. And you don't really have the yeah. power. You don't want to like reach out to them and be like, Hey, this person sucks because yeah. that's their that relationship. Crappy. Yeah. 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 Like, yeah that's yeah. their, you can't change their relationship, but that's what that is. Yeah. But man, it fucking sucks when you know somebody. Totally. Is so frustrating. It's so yeah. the worst. You know Absolutely. what the worst part is about relationships is that when or if they end, is your social structure is gone and it doesn't mm-hmm. matter if it's a marriage or a friendship or yeah. like a boyfriend situation mm-hmm. it's just like they always get restructured and like it sucks yeah you know? it really it is, is hard to lose hard, yeah mm-hmm. lose those. in some way it like you know mm-hmm. it does so, it does it's it's yeah it's never just the loss it's never of the simple one person it's always mm-hmm. like all there's together and it's not even like this doesn't even seem like it was that long of a relationship but yeah there's always yeah. some kind of like ties that you're losing besides the actual yeah. person to me i think that hurts more than the relationship well, yeah because you're over the person sure. like you don't yeah. like the person yeah what you like and at whatever. that point is the like outside right. stuff yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, is there anything to, do you think there's anything to her reaching out to like one or two of these people individually and just saying, hey, I'd like to see you. It's been a long time. Sure. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Nothing about that dude, but. Yeah. yeah. The only reason I Completely thought maybe aside. she was doing that is because I don't know what the situation is. If this guy's still super ingrained, maybe she's intentionally trying to like not have contact with him. I yeah, think that's I what, what it seems is. like. That's yeah. What happened, but yeah, yeah, I think a one-on-one hangout, he won't be there for that. Yeah. And yeah. yeah. You'll be able to gauge from that whether that's something that you want to continue to cultivate or whether you're or whether you want to just kind of maybe start fresh with a whole new group of people. Yeah. It also sounds like at the end she says, how dare this guy tell a bunch of people he was in love with me. He barely knew me. So I feel like maybe he's also like leading a narrative. I think so. So that's probably why she doesn't want to see them because she like Mm -hmm. knows he said all some some shit that wasn't real. Maybe just cut away and move on. Yeah. Yeah. Like if there's a few people that you're like, like you really want to hold on to, I think it's worth setting the record straight and then, but also not forcing it. You know, if like they, yeah, it's important to remember like what you have control of in this world, I think. And it's like if you can just live your life honestly and be like, this is what I want to do. You have no control over how people are going to react to it, though. So like this guy was shitty and gaslit, like, fuck him. If the friends want to go with him, then like, all right, that's their choice ultimately, you know, and like they mm-hmm. you you can't force that. Like you can't force people to do stuff, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, it's just like but important yeah, to should have what it could is just like. Yeah. I mean, that's why, but it's good to, it's good to make these mistakes. I mean, no, they're mm-hmm. not mistakes. It's just like, they're no. just people. I mean, it, but maybe they are a little bit mistakes, but that's okay. Like, it's okay to make mistakes. Like, well, it's fine. Like, yeah. Like I have, I mean, I've never made one, but like, no, I, I understand theory, they happened before. Like in theory, <laughs> it should them. be <laughs> <laughs> used them. That's what I, I do. My <laughs> <laughs> Fucking whittle your mistakes into a, a knife. Into and then, a sword. Yeah. And then go behead. Yes. Yeah. The first dragon that you find. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, I don't know. I feel like everything is like uh, life is a series of of things that happen that you learn from and you become better over time and you learn you, you know who you are better from experiences. You can say and, like, mistakes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but also yeah. like circling that word it's like a not, shark. But like this is it's unlikely that this will be the last guy that you hook up with that is regrettable. Also, yeah, so oh, like true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a lifetime of yeah. horrible. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If you have a lifetime of shitty mistakes, to it's learn never yeah. gonna get better. You're gonna keep repeating your same yeah, errors. Let yourself yes. get over this one so you can make another one. Yeah, yeah. move yeah. on to the next mistake. Uh, sure. <laughs> Girl, you deserve the next fuck up. Yeah. Get there. Get there. Already. I did love that, the, that Cheryl Crow song, my favorite mistake, though. I love it's such that a song. good. Yeah, like I like know that feeling. So do you well. have? Do you think of a certain person during that song? Yes, me too. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick. That was so fast. That answer. God damn. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know, and also like I've always, I remember very being very young and my de- like. When I I moved when I was in like fifth grade to sixth grade, so like all my elementary school friends, I like lost basically because I did not stay in touch with people and everything. And I remember like my dad, I was very upset when we moved, and my dad being like, "In your life, you will have a lot of acquaintances that you will love, but you will have like a handful of people that are like true friends that will be with you yeah. for everything." And it's something that I remind myself of a lot too, where I'm like, "Oh, cool, I've like." 
distance has grown with this person that I used to like love a lot and I was really good friends with. And like, that's okay because they were part of my life for a period of time and mm-hmm. things change and we grow. And just because, you know, people were in your life for a minute and like, it's okay if they're not in your life forever. Like we change and evolve and become different people. And those aren't always going to like meet up at different points. So like enjoy the memories that you had with this group of, of friends and like learn from it, what you can and like what you like and what you don't. And like, you know, apply that to, new people as you yeah. move forward mm-hmm. you know and it's just like i don't know I, I think about that a lot when i like have realized i've lost touch with somebody or i'm just not as good of friends as somebody or something happens or something blows up and it's like okay well i i'm happy for the time that i had with this person and yeah. i'm if you extend grace to that then i think it like you can forgive that part of yourself that like let that thing go away and it's okay because yeah. it's like no like this is life is long Life is very fucking long. Yeah, life is full of a bunch of tiny lives. Yeah. And so like oh, people are in yeah, your true. Mm-hmm. in your life for a certain amount of time and yeah. that's that. And also, yeah, you never know. One day you like might run into one of these people five years down the road and be like, Oh my god, hey, and re- yeah. you never you know. And it's kinda of like Christmas. Like the yeah. small yeah. presents are sometimes mm-hmm. the good ones, but they're small. Yeah. Exactly. (laughs) (laughs) I found as I get older, Mm -hmm. like I have reconnected with people I've had horrible falling outs with. Yeah. And then we're just like, yeah, do you still care about that? And they're like, no. And I'm like, yeah, me neither. Cool. Let's like. It's so hard to put energy into not into shit when you get older. That's the truth. It's it's so much energy to like hate people, which is what she keeps talking about. It's like, I hate seeing this. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, oh my God, you must be so tired. Well, and yeah, maybe like, like, maybe it's time to like intentionally add something into your life. That's going to occupy some of that energy. Like maybe yeah. it is time to take up a new like sport or hobby mm-hmm. or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think learning something new is always good. Cause that really like occupies your brain. Yeah. yeah. No, definitely. So get off social media. Fuck that. Ugh. Yeah, you exactly. Who cares? And like you have, I know you have like him blocked everywhere. If you would like to take a step farther on, on Twitter for sure. I know that you can block like words, words. and stuff. Yeah, block his fucking Ooh, block his name. name. Yeah, block yeah. his name on like the mute button part. And then Easy. you for sure won't see it. Yeah. I tell you what, I have Kanye blocked everywhere. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know <laughs> what the fuck's going that. on. Oh my God. I, <laughs> he is insane. I blocked Kanye West before it was cool. Yeah. <laughs> it's a really complicated topic. Yeah. <laughs> it's <so> complicated. <laughs> I just love you. We don't have his, time. His yeah. tweets, though, I will say, his tweets that were like, do yeah. I look like I'm in the sunken place oh from his God. house that literally looked like this? I was like, yeah. <laughs> it's, what the fuck are you doing? Like, it's so deep. Did you watch the movie? Oh, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, but also like, yeah, yeah. He has, he's a master of getting yeah. attention. So Also yeah. like, shout out to Jordan Peele for making a movie that is like that that it's level of zeitgeisty in, yeah it's yeah. already that kind of a reference it's yeah, like totally. fucking amazing to see so like i i just i have, have so much respect for him and like what his how his career has happened I is know. so awesome yeah and it's like the like the way that that movie is such a cultural touchstone is just like um, like can you it's, it's so funny because like, I, I was thinking the other day I was like can you imagine Kanye just being like can you ima- uh, do I look like I'm a fish man you know what I mean like <laughs> the shape of water does not have right, right, right. right. it's not gonna be an oeuvre as long yeah. as for sure do I look like my penis comes out of a thing and I fuck a woman but I'm a fish man <laughs> does that do I seem like a fish man yeah, no. but like, like on that note I would like classic. to quick say we were promised a splash with Channing Tatum. Yes. Let's move on. Where is it? <laughs> Where is that movie? Very good point. Remember Where that? That's a fish it? man I can get past. The internet, the internet promised us that fish man. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna Google I it hope right so. now. If you work in Hollywood, get the fuck on it. Yeah, where ASAP, is it? Chop, chop, put that man in a fishtail. Mm. I'm going to his IMDb right now to oh do, do a little check-in. Who is it supposed to be? Him and I don't think the, the girl was ever announced. Oh, was it yeah. a comedian? Oh no, it was um um oh fuck uh uh Brie Larson. No, oh I, I have no idea. It's somebody. It's somebody awesome though. Oh I my remember, god, I remember being very excited by Maybe it. Maybe who would be good? Kanye or not Kanye? Channing and Kanye, yeah, Kanye, 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 Kanye and Channing. I'm the oh, best. Okay. Kanye. <laughs> god, I can't even imagine. Done. It's oh written. God. It's <laughs> yeah. done. You don't even need to. But real quick, I I wonder if Kim Kardashian is going to break up with him. I feel like it's coming. I do too. Yeah. Because Kim is a rock. She was pissed. That Kim he, is a rock. She was like, she responded to the one of his pictures of their house Mm-mm. saying, honey, we agreed we're not going to show any pictures of our home on social media. And you know, if that bitch oh. had to say that on Twitter, I'm, it, it, yeah, it's, yeah, what was happening when the cameras out. were rolling? And those sisters are no strangers to turning no. a man out. Yeah. They, 
<laughs> that's no. true. Yeah. No, I feel like it's yeah. not. I don't think they're long for this world uh-uh. for sure. Yeah, you know? which is too bad because I really like them as a couple. But I knew that they were no. Uh, you can't have two. Per- that's just it's waiting a lot to of explore. How yeah. does that household exist? Whew. Like, what do you think? Lots, that's lots in a support. giant house where you're very far away. <laughs> very from far away. Yeah. There's gonna be enough room for both of them in yeah. there. Yeah. Holy shit! When you're shit. like, honey, I'm just gonna go to the sunken place for like an hour. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh. Jillian Bell. Jillian Bell. Oh, yeah. Fuck yeah. Yes. 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 I knew it was somebody yeah. awesome. Yeah. Yes. That mo- make oh, that movie. So happen. do we have a status God. update? What's up? It just says still in development. I haven't okay. seen oh, much more. Keep that. developing people. Yeah. Keep I want that movie to happen real bad. Oh my God. Yeah. She's amazing. Yeah. She we rules. To, yeah. Okay. Yeah, do they I think from? we can do. Okay. Yeah. Unless do you guys feel like any final thoughts for this one? No. I just, no. you know, my usual. I mean, time will, time will time make Time is the only time. thing. Mm-hmm. Put, put a new stimulus in your life. Mm-hmm. Um, just go buy a book or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And yeah, I don't know. I always push meditating, but I think that's always good for anger. Yeah. And distance makes things better. You know, as, yeah. as you get further from yeah, this. Yeah, go and buy an island. Get away. <laughs> buy an island. Pull in a cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, <laughs> wait, I was at a show last night and um, our, our friend Josh Androwski was, was uh, hosting it and he was talking about um, Nick Cage and he was talking about how one of his sons has like a metal band and he goes, what is that guy's name? And I just go, Weston from the back of the room. <laughs> He's like, is that Brandy? <laughs> Um, th- how about this? Yes. You know Weston? Uh-huh. Guess who substitute taught Weston? You substitute oh, taught yes. Weston Cage? Yes. How have we not ever talked about that? Because I, just, so, I mean, I've taught many celebrities kids. That's, that's <laughs> crazy. That's awesome. Uh, Weston was a good student. Hell yeah. I'd believe it. <laughs> I would believe it. He seems like a good dude. He was a sweet kid. I yeah. would hang out with Weston <laughs> Cage. He, he never gave me any problems. Let's yeah. get. Let's go to El Compadre with Weston. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You guys oh my God. Yeah. 300th episode is around the corner. <laughs> if we can go to El Compadre with Weston Cage, I'd lose my Weston Cage. Greg so Kinnear, great. hit us up. Yeah. Or if you have their names, whatever. <laughs> or Paul Dano. Yeah, Paul yeah. Dano. Paul Dano. Dano. Or somebody gets their name legally changed to Paul Dano so they can come on. Oh, and they, if, if you want to do that, we will talk to you about it. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Yeah, let's make it happen. 100%. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to do another Lady Proud. All right. Um, cool. Dear ladies, so I've been dating this guy. Dumb pimp. No, just kidding. <laughs> so I've been dating this guy for almost a year now after a little over two years of being friends. We're practically inseparable and planning on moving in together once I graduate this spring. I'm 22 and he's 27, so it's a very exciting time in my life as I dive into the real world and the great unknown. The problem I'm having is that his ex-girlfriend is the ultimate girl next door. Literally! She was his neighbor in his parents' house and they were everyone's favorite couple. Mm. She's drop-dead gorgeous. Imagine Mila Kunis in Forgetting Sarah Marshall mixed with Selena Gomez and an aspiring actress. Ugh. They did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Agreed. Woof. Yeah, Woof. that's all you need to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they dated for about three years, and things fell apart from a distance during college. After she came back from study abroad, presently his family and hers are best friends. Oh so god, always, this a sounds nightmare. like a fucking movie. This is a nightmare. Mm-hmm. Presently, yeah. his family and hers are best friends, so they always do functions and holidays together. Fuck. Oh my god, holidays. Yeah, yeah. everything Oof. from going Ew. upstate to this cabin together during weekends in the summer no. to ski trips to no. <laughs> what is this? Meet fuck? the parents. This yeah. is meet the parents <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> Now their relationship is long over and shows zero signs of resurgence, but I find myself a bit insecure compared to her. I know it's all in my head. My boyfriend goes above and beyond in the role he fills in my life. Respect, attention, communication, the works. I just feel like that relationship was the most precious fairy tale story and she was the one that got away and I'll never quite live up to that. People talked about talk about her like she's crafted by the gods. Oh God. How stunning she Ooh. is, how she lights up every room she walks into. <laughs> I hate to sound creepy, but I've looked at her Instagram a few times and she's just unbelievably beautiful. Well, nobody's Instagram is how they actually look. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I know True. I am too, but I definitely some I'm definitely someone who rides on personality. Aww, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that's just a really funny way to say yeah. it. <laughs> I just feel like maybe I am a downgrade compared to this girl. Aww. And it's also hard because although I haven't met her in person yet, it's inevitable and I've already have yet an I already have to have an entire dinner. I've already had to have an entire family dinner with her parents. Jesus mm. fucking Christ. That's weird. That was me saying that, not her. Yeah. Oh, Do you no. have any tips to get out of this negative headspace and how to cope moving forward? Much love to you all, and thank you for bringing joy and the sweet sound of Tessa's laughter into my life. <laughs> oh, this is a cool PS. I was in the Mexico City airport at like 4 a.m. traveling back from Tulum last week and saw another fan with a lady to lady pin on her back. Oh, on yes. her backpack. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. What's up, you guys? Oh, I, yeah. wonder if that was, I feel like that was Katya. I don't know why. I just feel like <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's got one of our pens in his backpack. I hope it was Katya. <laughs> I hope so too. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like hell. Oh yeah. my what god! I feel so bad. What a horrible this meet the parents. True, true to nightmare. Be in. This yeah. is a nightmare. Because it also sounds like on top of it all, this girl's like cool. 
Yeah. Yeah. I mean, she, yeah, you can't just like not like her. And let me just say, like personality her. always trumps looks. So, yes. So, and he yes. wanted mine. I'm yeah. sure you're yeah. gorgeous. And looks are a personality. I mean, yeah, if you have a good true. personality, you're beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. That is 100%. Confidence um, is everything. That, yeah. But she knows that. She knows that. She, knows she, that. Does, she already knows that. There's, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. not, I mean, it's hard to get around that part I have of your never, head. Have you guys ever been in a situation like this? I haven't really been in something like this before. Well, we were talking before the podcast a little bit about, um, uh, uh, I'll be gone in the dark. Um, uh, Michelle McNamara's book about the Golden right. State Killer, and mm-hmm. like I was saying that, like I'm really impressed with Patton's new wife, who yeah. I think is a very extreme version of this situation, where it's like, yeah, the ex isn't dead. Yeah, so, yeah. well, yeah, so there's that. <laughs> but, but but it's like the this person that is amazing and was fucking mm-hmm. talented, and like there was love there, and like all of that stuff, and it's like it's it, it's just it's it's a lot to expect of somebody to just have the kind of grace to like totally deal with that and like i don't know it's it could be worse <laughs> yeah. yeah so she's at least alive yeah exactly um, well, well also i guess <laughs> yeah i don't know it's i just guess similar to what me. are the logistics because they're gonna move in together soon so i'm like are they gonna be able to distance themselves from the family a little bit soon because maybe this is just something that she needs, like, just suck yeah. up and bear for a little bit. And then when mm-hmm. they get their own place, mm-hmm. they won't always be having these family dinners and that kind of shit. Yeah. Sounds like they're pretty I feel like, It seems like that happens Families a lot. Families are pretty tight. Right? At least, at the, especially in the holidays wow. and all that stuff. Well, yeah. I'm curious as to how, if her parents are cool to you or not. Like, are, like, are the ex's parents, like, I'm sure they're nice, you yeah. know? But, like, it's, it's yeah, also, is it's, it like the family's all acting like she's the one that got away? Because that yeah. makes it so much worse. And that's yeah. bullshit that's, on their part. That's really dumb and that's, that's up, the case. Yeah, and that's up to your boyfriend to, like, be like, this is who I'm with now. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. if the right. families are, like, talking about this girl, like, through totally. rose-colored glasses, then it's up to him to, like, set the boundaries, I think, and be like, no, right. this is who I'm with. That's over. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's really appropriate to mention anyone's ex in front no. of their current yeah. person. So Absolutely whoever not. is doing that shouldn't be doing that really at all. No. I mean, yeah. if mm-hmm. it happens occasionally on accident, fine, but they shouldn't but be like... But it's literally her parents just up. talking about their kid, you know. Right. Yeah. I don't think it's like they're bringing, like, remember when you two were together? Yeah. It's more like, hey, we She's spend... Doing this. Yeah. 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 Well, I, I also think it's, like, kind of inappropriate for them to, like be around the new girlfriend quite this much too you know but if that's their friend i don't I mean, think they're doing it like on per- it's like their, their name, relationships yeah, yeah. with their friends the yeah parents. i mean i guess to me it's like you can have like a dinner with his parents like why are these other parents at this other dinner like you can see them at, you can see them at holidays every once in a while but like i feel like the other parents like shouldn't be around that much well and maybe this but maybe it's a good thing and maybe mm-hmm. this is something to consider And this might actually be the case. Like, your boyfriend probably sees this woman as more of a family member than an ex. If that's how close the parents are, then this was probably something that just happened when they were really young. Mm -hmm. And, like, he probably at this point truly sees her as more of, like, a cousin figure. Right. I mean, also, you know, you are – you're 22. You said – yeah. So it's like – I don't know. I think about, I mean, God, my high school boyfriend, I can't, in a million years, no. can you ever see being with your high no. school? No. no. Fuck no. no. I forget no. who said this, but someone I read somewhere was like, dating an ex is like trying to shove poop back up your butt. <laughs> and then I was like, 100%. <laughs> not, it's not mine. I can't take credit for it, but I think about that so, fucking quote all the time. It's so true. Funny. Like, yeah. you can't. It's, like, like, it's yeah. just like, you've been there, you've done that. Like, space next. stockings? Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? Yeah. Like, <laughs> space stockings. <laughs> Where yeah. you freeze poop and then <laughs> you freeze. Jesus well, Christ. Well, sometimes this isn't it's even good. the first time I've heard you bring up <laughs> space stocking. Need- <laughs> <laughs> when you need to do it, but that's yeah. a different yeah. situation. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. it is. It's truly like you know what? Do you ever need to do it? No one yeah. wants to eat their leftover we'll salad. Later. You know, yeah, yeah, like yeah. it's yeah. leftovers. Yeah. Like, yeah. No, absolutely. Yeah, I mean, and like truly, he would be with this woman if he wanted to be. He's that's with you, true. exactly. That's I mean, yeah, yeah. he's with you, and like you said, he he shows you. I mean. I understand it's, you know, we all have insecurities and like it's easy to get yeah. wrapped up in something even when they're showing you signs of every, all signs point to yes or whatever. Yeah. 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 But it, yeah, you just have to have faith in it and know, like you said, if he wanted to be with her, he would. Mm-hmm. And yeah. you're not with an ex that you used to, like, it's just, yeah. yeah. Like I think put yourself in that situation. Think about your high school boyfriend or something. You do not want to be with that person. No. no. That mm-hmm. is who you're with when you were a child. You know? Yeah. And also, That's but helpful. I think you can also feel very comfortable drawing boundaries. I mean, if you get invited to one of these centers and you don't feel like going, like tell your boyfriend. I yeah, mean, you don't I, have to go. Yeah, to be should polite. she talk? No. To, I wonder how much she's talked to him about this. Yeah. Like, should she talk to him about it? Or yeah, do you guess maybe if she hasn't brought it up, I think it's worth. I think bringing up a little bit. I would not bring it up a lot. Yeah, because then you no, start to look very insecure. Yeah. But I think it's worth having a conversation to be like, hey, it's. I feel very 
third wheelie in these situations. Totally. Because it is also like mm-hmm. everyone, everyone's shared experience except for you is this relationship. And like, so they're going to talk about things that you don't know. So it's like, maybe it's be like, hey, when we're there, can you like make an effort to like include me in talking about things that like I would also be able to be a part of too. And like, so it's not just like a weird inside joke thing that you're not a part of. Yeah, like, cause that's what it feel, feels worst. like it would be. Like, you don't want to feel like the third wheel or like you're intruding yeah. cause you are a part of this too. Well, now. I mean, do you guys think this is kind of like, I don't know if this is a really good idea, but maybe mm-hmm. once you meet this girl, I wonder if there's anything to also just hanging out one-on-one with the girl. Like maybe that mm-hmm. would make her less of like a story and more just like a person, you know, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I'm sure be she's interested in other people too, and yeah. might even yeah. be in a relationship herself. Yeah, for sure. You know, like yeah. imagine how much they must like be irritated with like mm-hmm. that coming up if they're both trying to move on. Like I can't imagine yeah. everyone being so gracious in that situation. Like mm-hmm. you were saying about Patton's yeah. situation, mm-hmm. right? You know, like if this is the case with everyone and their parents are causing the problems, like they're yeah. never going to be able to like. You know, for sure, move on in a well, healthy way, and mm-hmm. it's like anything. You know what you said in here is their relationship is long over and shows zero signs of resurgence. Yeah, you that, know that. You said it. You know that. It's you know. Yeah, you know that. Yourself. Yeah, yeah for it's sure. so easy. And like I said, no one Instagram is <laughs> number on. one blocker. Bullshit. Like, just don't look at her stuff. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah, until like you were in a better place for it. I would say just like block her from stuff, and like you can't tell who's blocked you on Instagram. That's fine. Yeah, she, she's... Well, yeah. You, can, has, you can. can. Yeah. If yeah. you look at their Instagram, oh, it doesn't show up. Oh, yeah. I forgot I about that. But I doubt she's looking at hers. <laughs> she's not going to look. Yeah. I doubt she, the other girl's looking at hers, probably. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 I would say just, like, try... I know no, it's my hard. my ex-boyfriend who's with his oh, ex... Oh, yeah. His oh, ex yeah. blocked yes. me. So. Shoving I poop up the butt. <laughs> yeah, yeah he he sho- about that. My ex was shoving up the butt. Yeah, exactly. That old so and so yeah. Hope you like that leftover that, poop, buddy. Uh, leftover Great. poop salad. Eat yeah, up. Quit exactly. That turd. Have fun. Have fun with that. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I mean, I yeah. get it. This would be a very hard. No, it's maddening. And I don't think yeah. you're. I don't think you're out of the ordinary here for feeling no, this way no, at all. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think just like try to remember that she's human. Just everything that you already know. Just keep repeating those things to yourself. Yeah, exactly. I think have a little bit of a convo with the boyf about it. Yeah. And I, I do like the idea of, like, making her a real person. Because yeah. then you, like, see her flaws. You guys might fucking hit it off really well, too. Yeah. You know? And, like, sure. then you gain a then friend. you can and make it's... fun of the boyfriend together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's always a good thing to bond over. <laughs> yeah. Because it could be her just being like, oh, my God, my parents are so... Like, I don't know why they keep talking about it. You know? So totally. she, could, she could be very frustrated by this whole situation, too. Mm-hmm. And, like, then you have, like, another ally on your side. But also yeah. definitely write this screenplay and yes. Yes. make it into... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And then she can star <laughs> in it. Lord. She's right. spider yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. So sorry for your situation. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. really yeah, difficult. Yeah, let us know. I yeah. want no updates. Well, I think it's been done for a long time, too, because if he's 27... And this, like, they broke up when she came back from study abroad. It's like, I don't know, you graduate college when you're, like, 22 or 23. Yeah, it's so. been, like, five years at least, it seems yeah. like. So. Yeah, exactly. I mean, and she'll, if she's this pretty, she'll start dating somebody sooner or later, too. And then, like, she probably will feel like less of a threat then, too, because yeah. she'll have her own boyfriend. and She'll have a Sam Ashgari show up on the scene. Oh, yeah. my God. <laughs> Is that how you say his name? Oh, yeah. yeah. It sounds like you're saying Samish. Like, Sam- 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 she'll either get a Samish or a Sam Ashgari. Yeah. Yeah. Either yeah. way, she will be so eating Sam-ish. well. <laughs> 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 um, yes. Kaylin, hey, hey, what's we take off you? Yeah, what's happening with you? Uh, so my band's Tiny Stills. I have a new record coming out June first, and yeah. uh, if you are in LA, I have a show at the Hi Hat on May thirty first. It's the album release show. We're doing a small tour uh, to through Arizona and then. Uh, New Mexico and then full national tour is August and September of this year so yeah. keep in touch oh, yeah. if you like the tunes and you can pre- and pre-order that the yeah. album now right? I have a record coming out the record on June 1st and then you can pre-order it on um, tinystills.com and otherwise it's going to be out on streaming on June 1st yeah so That's keep awesome. in touch I, I've met multiple Lady to Lady fans in cities, and Yay. it's always a pleasure. Oh, yeah. that's so cool. Yeah. Come yeah. up go, and say go hi. Go see her on tour. Go see yeah. Kaylin. Yeah. Her band is amazing. Cool. Yeah. It's so. just, and Kaylin has an, a, an old Shout album, out. too, that if you have not listened to it. Yes. I still There's still music out there. So, yeah. you know, so. be friends. It's pretty Whatever. Great. And we're going to we'll go out on another song from you. Here we go. Thank okay. you guys for having me. Yeah. yeah. See you all next week. Bye, guys. Bye. So that's what you're the things that I am not Tell me your experience means you should call the shots Tell me how you know
can't get enough of us, subscribe to our Patreon for exclusive bonus content, access to our first 100 episodes, and more. Go to patreon.com slash lady to lady now to sign up. As little as a dollar a month keeps a roof over the glam cave and keeps you laughing, even when your coworkers stare. That's patreon.com slash lady to lady. And don't forget to follow us on social media. We're on Twitter and Instagram at lady to lady comedy. Join our Facebook group, Lady to Lady Podcasts, to chat with other fans about episodes or even post your own lady problems. Check out our website, ladytoladycomedy.com, for show notes, videos, and merch. And duh, follow our individual accounts, Babs Gray, Brandazzle, and Testify Barker for jokes and info and where you can see us perform live. And if you want to send us snacks, stickers, or a lock of your own hair, I don't know, whatever, our P.O. Box is 412-794, Los Angeles, California, 90041. And please, leave us a review on iTunes, but only if you like us. We love you. We love you. Bye. 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 Bye.